Hi everyone, we are Elisa and Jason from EECC Travels and we are back with another cruise tips video. So today we are talking about what to do once you get on board the ship. So we've already covered what to do before your cruise and some extras to pack. So this is number three in our series. So if you missed the first two, there'll be links down in the description and we're gonna keep going with these series for a while because we liked being able, we were so nervous on our first cruise, didn't know anything about cruising. Now we know a little bit and we wanna share that information. Absolutely, okay, so let's get started. Right. Number one, um, once you get on board, the first thing you need to do so that you don't forget it later because you're gonna have a whole bunch of things to do and if you forget to do it, you're gonna be in trouble. Set your phone in airplane mode and use the ship's Wi-Fi for communicating. This will avoid any charges. I have heard horror stories of people not knowing about this. Going on the cruise thinking, oh, well I left, you know, from a port in the United States and I'm on a, a cruise ship that I'm not going to have any fees and you get out into international waters and you've got international roaming, roaming fees. So yeah, I've heard of people getting their thousand bill. dollar bills. Oh yeah, crazy and, uh, amounts for phone bills because they didn't know about this. And you know, you're out there on a ship, you're having fun, you're not thinking about checking your phone for airplane mode to see if you put it on. So do it before you, right as you get on board. Yep. Um, Go ahead and get that done. Take Put care. it on and leave it on. Leave it on. Okay, while we're on cell phones, number two. Uh, this one is gonna be Carnival specific. Uh, download the Carnival Hub app. It is fantastic. Uh, the Hub app will give you deck plans. It will give you the daily schedule. So everything that's in your fun times. All your activities, whatnot. Yeah, everything that's in your fun times is going to be in that app. So if you want to go through and bookmark certain things, you can even set timers or reminders that, hey, the Harry Chess Contest starts at three o'clock. <coughs> um, so it'll set you a reminder for that. The other really cool, and that's all free. The app is free, it's free to use. The other really cool thing about this is there is a chat feature. The chat feature is $5 per person for the length of the cruise. We love this because we all get the chat feature and then we can do group text, could communicate with right. each other on the ship. These ships are huge. You don't think you're going to find somebody. Say I'm sitting at the pool and Elisa is doing a ship tour or something like that and I need her or she needs me. Yep. Well, trying to just find each other is going to take a while because we could be passing each other left and right. But with this app, we can communicate, we can meet, and it just makes life easier on the ship. Yep, and, and the group text is great because you can text all your, you know, kids go every direction. Same thing with your kids, you know, mm -hmm. you can, you know where they are and they can know where you are. Not that they really want to know where you <laughs> they are. They don't really care where you are. We want to know where they are. So. <laughs> uh, one tip, if you use the app, you have to keep it open. Don't close the app oh, because right. if you close the app, the text won't or the tip. chats won't come through. You got to keep it open. And every now and then it'll sign you out and you have to sign back in, but that's just a little glitch. But other than that, it's a really fantastic app. And it works on airplane mode. Yes, it does. It works on the ship's Wi-Fi. works on the ship's Wi-Fi, yep. and so you don't have to worry about that, okay? Yep. What you got next? Okay, next, uh, unpack as soon as possible, okay? Um, steward's gonna bring extra hangers if needed, just ask him. If you don't have, if you look in your closet and you don't have enough hangers, just ask them. Stewards are usually really great about They're bringing right. whatever you need, whether it be ice, anything. Yeah. Make sure you unpack as soon as possible. This is your home for the next week or more or less, but you know, this is your home. Make it your home. You don't want to live out of a suitcase. We made that mistake on our first cruise. Every time we needed something to pull the suitcase out from under the bed, get our stuff out. Also, there's like a little psychological thing that goes on too. When you unpack, yes. it's like you can, <sighs> okay, I'm on vacation. Oh, it's time to go. Yeah. So yeah, take five, 10, 20 minutes, unpack your suitcases. And the feeling is priceless. Yeah. Put everything where you need it to go. Throw them under your uh, your bed and you're done. Yep. Makes, Two minutes. Yep. It's a great thing to do. All right. Okay, some ships have mini bars. Um, I think they've done away with this on a lot of ships, but I think some still have them. So you'll get in your room and there is that mini fridge, but it's full of drinks. And those drinks cost money, usually lots of money. So and they have them all fronted and faced yeah, and look so very appetizing. Very, and, yeah. Very easy to grab yeah. and drink, but 
Um, when we have had a mini bar, we've asked our steward to please empty the mini bar. They won't take it out of the room. They'll just usually put it up on a shelf somewhere. But then, then the refrigerator is empty if you brought your own sodas that you can put them into the refrigerator. Which is exactly what we do. We yep. bring our own sodas, as you guys know and we put them in that refrigerator. Yeah, our last cruise, there was an empty fridge, no mini bar, so we didn't have that to worry about, so we just opened it, put our drinks in, and we were good to go. And you're week. not tempted to get anything off the mini bar if you have your own stuff in the cooler, nice and cold, so. Right. All righty, okay. Um, ask the guest services for a postcard with the ship's picture on it. Um, this should be free. Also, ask if they can give you a free deck of cards. Yeah, we have always gotten the cards. The, the postcards, sometimes they have and sometimes they don't. We've asked for it before and they were out of them, but they've always had cards. Just go back and ask again. That, you know, they, yep. may have them. they may be out first time you ask them, ask them again. Chances are they got them. And you always get a free deck of cards and you know, who doesn't like playing cards? That's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, and we, we keepsake, you know. Yeah, it's something really cool to keep to bring home that's right. got the carnival logo on it, or um, you know, whatever cruise line you're you're cruising in. And the best of all, it's free. It's free. There's I mean, a lot of free things here. That's what but I'm this saying. This is a free one. And um, last get year, free stuff anymore. I know, very rare. But last year, we actually we got the cards and we sat and we played blackjack, just not for money, just for fun, in the lobby while we were waiting on the nighttime show. So yeah, yeah that was kids. fun. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. Next. If you brought your own wine, ask your cabin steward for a corkscrew. Um, they will bring that to you. They don't mind. They will let you keep it in your room the length of your cruise. Um, that's just what we do. There's a couple of different options if you bring your bottle on board. You can you know, drink it out of your room. They will bring you a corkscrew and glasses. Or you can bring it to the dining room and you pay a $15 corkage fee and then it stays in the dining room and they will serve it to you corkage with your dinner. Corkage fee. Corkage fee. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> Steward can also bring ice and glasses for your wine and other beverages, which you just said, right? Well, I touched on that, yeah. but yeah, we always, <laughs> when we get in, we always greet our room steward. We, we give him a little something, and then we ask him, would you mind just keeping some ice in our room for us? And there was always a bucket of ice in our room at all times for our use. And um, when I do bring wine on board, I get him to give me that corkscrew and a couple of glasses. So they're very, very nice people, and they, will, they want you to have a good vacation, and they'll bring you the things that you need. Yep. Take care of them, and they'll take care of you. Yeah. Oh, on our last cruise, we had a bottle of champagne sent to us. Thank you, Bill and Misty. And um, yeah. we... They're awesome. We were like, oh, we've got this totally. bottle of champagne. What are we going to drink out of? They went and got us two glasses. They were honeymoon glasses. They had the carnival logo on them, and they gave them to us. They said, you can keep them. You can bring them home. And that was so nice. And we popped the bottle and we filled the glasses and we toasted and we had champagne mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, it was fantastic. And I ran on the ship and that was, that was a bucket list check mark. Yep, that okay. was great. All right. So, is it my turn or your That's turn? That's my turn. Okay. Okay, in the library, you can go if you want some downtime. They have crossword puzzles and they have other games. They have board games in the library. So you can, if you need, if the ship's getting a little loud for you and you need a quiet place to relax, go to the library, get you a crossword puzzle, bring somebody, play a board game. A lot of people overlook the library. It's not a place we've really spent any time, but I do walk well, always by there and see people relaxing. I ain't playing and, no board game on a cruise. Okay. <laughs> But, uh, but, <laughs> but to yeah, each their own. Yeah, and some people really enjoy own. that. So, and, right. there, and there are actually books in the library. So if you like to read and forgot to bring a book with you, go grab one out of there. You know, I mean, I could see how that's very relaxing. I see people up on the oh uh, yeah on the Lido and I always bring a book with me or the Serenity deck, mm -hmm. the adults only deck, and they're sitting there reading and the breeze is blowing and it's you know that's a great place to read a book. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, okay. So, also, we want to visit the casino, like we mentioned before, for free carnival lanyard uh, for your sale and sign card, okay? Get you a lanyard. It's free, you Yeah. Know? Get all the free stuff you can, and it's convenient, y'all. You will use it. You will appreciate this. 
So if you did forget to bring a lanyard or you just prefer the, the casino lanyards, they're long and stretchy and they're completely free. All you have to do is go ask for one. This is what you're gonna get out of the casino. See, it's a long, stretchy, oh, there you go. It's a long, stretchy lanyard. It's got laid for the <laughs> lanyard. <laughs> but it's great because you put your card on here and then see, it, you can put it into your, uh, your door to get into your cabin or... Um, <laughs> That's but, all you gotta do. Yeah, but these are great. And um, they say Carnival Players Club on them. You know, if you're sitting totally at the bar great. and you order a drink, just pop it off, yep. slide it over. He'll give it back to you. Pop it back on. Voila, go on about your business. You ain't gotta worry about losing it. Yep, that's a good one. Each evening, you're going to get a schedule for the next day in your room left by your cabin steward. What I like to do, um, First thing in the morning, either late that night or first thing in the morning is snap a picture of the front of that that will have a date on it. So when you're scrolling through your pictures on your phone or on your camera, those st uh, stand as a day break. So I know our phones do date stamp our pictures, but when you're just doing a scroll through, it's a nice day break. That's right. Good tip. Great tip. Yep. Look through the list of activities each day and mark through what interests you so you don't miss it. Yep, there's so many activities every single day on a cruise. So you want to look at your schedule for the day and determine what you want to do. Mark those items. That's why I recommend bringing a highlighter. Mark those items and then that way you are not going to miss the things that you want to do. That's right. Okay, if you have teens or tweens with you, they need to be at that meet and greet on the first night of the cruise. From my understanding, it's a make it or break it kind of thing. You make friends the first night and they're your friends for the rest of the cruise. So you gotta have your kids, they may miss dinner on that first night. So you have to determine, is it more important for them to have a family dinner with you that first night or for them to go to the teen club and, and meet kids their own age? So something to think about if you're gonna, if your kids are gonna be highly participating, you might wanna send them to the teen club that first night. Mm, that's right. Okay, use showers, use the saunas and steam rooms near spa, it's free of charge. So, you know, you have complete access to them, use them. Yeah, absolutely, and, and the showers over there, okay, think about how small a shower is in your cabin. They're this big and you have to turn like this to take a shower. Oh, so I'm exaggerating a little bit, but they're small. But the showers in the spa area are large. And so this is really a good tip if you have multiple adults in the same room. So say you have four adults that are sharing a cabin and it's dinner time and you have one bathroom. Send two of them to uh, the spa area to take their shower and then you can get ready a lot better. And the saunas, you love the saunas and the steam rooms. Fill your backpack up with a little bit of clothes that you need and run down to the shower mm -hmm. and come right back. You'll be glad of their nice showers. Yeah. Really. Okay, if you have an inside cabin, it's pitch dark in there. We personally like that because we sleep in pitch darkness. It's bright everywhere else on that ship. So yep. every now and then it's good to rest the old eyeballs in darkness. Yeah. So, but at night, if you need a night, if you need a little bit of light, you may either want to pack a night light with you, or you can turn your TV to the forward camera and mute it. So the forward camera is going to be the view of what's on the front of the ship. So at night, it's black, it's dark, but it just gives a slight glow from the TV and then it acts as a window. So when the sun comes up, you can see it on your TV. So it's a good tip if you have an inside camera. Great tip. Okay, laundry or ironing rooms are on each floor, but they are scarce. Um, if ironing, if you got to do some ironing, try to go to the middle or the afternoon so there's not a long line because on formal night, get ready to wait. Now this is gonna, this is carnival specific because um, I know Royal Caribbean does not have laundry facilities at all. I'm not sure about Norwegian, but I know that carnival does have laundry facilities, but they are scarce. And especially a, men, a man's dress shirt really needs to be ironed yeah. before a formal night. So you trust me, you do not want to go at five or six o'clock right before dinner and try and iron that shirt because there's going to be a line out the door. There's about two laundry, two ironing boards per deck. Yeah. Per also, it wouldn't deck. hurt to when you wake up and you get your morning coffee and your breakfast, 
what I would do is I would recommend run, you know you got formal night that night, mm -hmm. go ahead and get it out of the way. Go yeah. back down to your room. You know nobody's gonna be there at that time. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get you all your ironing done. You're ahead of the game. Now you can go out and enjoy the rest of your day and know that that's done. Yeah, I usually will take our families uh, either a mid-morning or mid-afternoon on that first C day because you've got your first formal night, your first C day. So get that over with. Get it done ASAP. when nobody is in there and um, you've got you know, you've got that ironing board to yourself. You can take your time and you can get it done. Yeah, put the extra steam on it. There are photographers everywhere on these ships. Get your picture taken. It doesn't cost anything to have your picture taken. Now you want the pictures, they're expensive, but what we normally do is we'll go to a couple of photographers, have our picture made. Sometimes we don't buy any. Sometimes we find one that it's just like, oh wow, what a Sometimes fantastic family picture. If they're really good and picture, we want one, we'll get we'll one. buy it. So, but you don't know unless you try. That's right. So they're there, use them. Mm -hmm. Okay. This Last one. This one's this one's very important, so y'all listen up. Look for the secret decks. There's secret decks on there. I mean, I don't know if you can call them secret, but we call them secret because it just makes them sound cooler. <laughs> but they are secret in the fact that nobody's on them. Yeah, they're not public access decks, and they're on the front of the ship, and not every ship has them, but most do. Normally, all you have to access them is from a deck that is not a public deck so you like it's not going to be on your promenade but it might be on the, the floor above promenade so you go all the way forward and there'll be a door that leads outside and or so, back depending on what mm -hmm. side of the ship you're on yep and you walk around that deck yep. and you may see a couple or two there but it's just really nice way to uh, look out into the ocean mm -hmm. and kind of be at peace with yourself and your partner, whoever you're with. It's just a cool feeling. I yeah. recommend it. We sh should do it. We always do that. And, and sometimes this is the only way you're going to get to the very, very front of the ship. Some ships have a deck that goes all the way around and some don't. So sometimes you have to find these secret decks yeah. if you want to get on the front and of the ship. And for all you vloggers out there, it's a great shot, you know, to sit yeah. up there and do a little time lapse <laughs> in the front of the ship or the back of the ship. <laughs> But yeah, that, that's one of our favorite views is going to the very front of the ship and the very back of the ship. Yep. Right. Oh, so I well, get I it I believe now. that concludes our tips for today. Yep, that's our list of tips for today. So these are these were all things that you should do once you get on, on the board. Um, also, if you would like our list of 101 cruise tips, including these that we just talked about today, there's a link in the description. Just click the link, put in your email address, and it will be sent right to you. Make sure to subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Each evening... Okay, each evening you're gonna get a fun time or a schedule for the next day in your room left by the cabin steward. What I start over, stop that. Okay. <laughs> Are you done?